Hey, you! What's up, buddy? <laughs> Peace, man. Good to see you. A much happier DRZ this morning. Uh, the plan today is we're gonna go for breakfast with our good friend Doug. We're gonna talk about what he's been up to, our plans, what's gonna happen. He's gonna tell some stories. And uh, the DRZ is much happier this morning. Flash right up. Very happy about that. Still need to fix some things. Let's go get some grub grubs. <coughs> <coughs> I'm getting sick again. God damn it. Oh, there he is. This is called Railroad Square. Railroad Square. Railroad Square. This is lovely. Old Town. At the Santa Scott, we haven't been into Santa Rosa really. Uh, it's, it's a cool little town. Cool little town. And it's 200,000 people now. The old Jags. Yeah, kind of cool, huh? Super cool. We got the aviation team going on too. We also met Doug on our return trip from Panama and rode together in our homebound episodes 24 and 25, where he talked us into attending the Julian Adventure Rally last year. Seth had such a good time, we were attending again. Over breakfast, we catch up with Doug and hear all about his trip to Alaska. You can find it on his channel, NorCal Droneworks, and make plans for our upcoming event. How much are those, how much are those new? Six or seven grand. That's it? Yeah. But uh, I put the skid plate and the rag guard on for it the other night. You Steph want me says to put it's that somewhere. It's marginally better than her 250. Sure. She says. You don't want. I got a little backpack. I can throw it in if you want. Just remember to get it when we get back to your house. Okay. cool to visit a bike shop. Um, Cycle Gear has been kind of cool actually. Uh, on our way back from Panama I didn't buy a jacket because my zipper failed and I got a really cool Sedici and it was really reasonable. It had a lot of really cool features and it's still my uh, go-to jacket at home but because I've been doing a lot of dual sports stuff. So, so Scott I really think you need a new helmet. Don't you? Look at right here. Okay let's go. Look. Here you go. There you oh, go. There we go. That, that is just that's so you. It's so you, buddy. Look at that. He has a different view of me than I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you need gas? Mm, I can be all right without it. So remember, we're coming behind you. So if you have any problems, give me a holler. Peace, oh. see you in Borrego, huh? 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 Couple yeah. of days. We're gonna be down and dirty. Yeah, big, if we could big, ride one day together, that would be fun. That would be fun. Okay. Yeah, and I, I think but, uh, it might be a hard sell to the competitive guy. I know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. See how we're doing. I mean, we're a little competitive, but not as serious as some of those people. Yeah. We don't have support vehicles. That's <laughs> funny. I mentioned it to the um, when I talked to that dude, one of the organizers. Yeah. 
about, I mean, hey, is, can you run like two different bikes? He goes, what? Why would you do that? And I go, well, I go, the team that's won it the last few years in a row, that's, they've got a support team that brings them their big GSs when they come out of the desert. Really? So he didn't know about the rules. And I said, well, there's nothing in the rules that say you can't. That's what they go by. But, all right, guys. We will see you in the desert. License plate. Well, that's quite a good one. just at the foot of the grapevine which starts in those mountains right there on the other side of those mountains is Los Angeles uh, we are just uh, doing a little check of the engine bay we noticed at our last fuel stop where we also got air in the tires that uh, we've developed a bit of an oil leak so we're gonna check the level Probably check the coolant tank, top up the oil if needed, as well as the coolant. Alrighty. Right out, and then we're gonna go up the hill. Join us next time for day one of the Adventure Rally in Julian, California, where we get a ride on. Over here, you're gonna see your turn signals down here. It's a metric turn signal all in one. Um, you've got a little blip for lights, so it's really nice. You need to catch them.